Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how the standby mode feature works with the iPhone with iOS 17. Let's get started. So let's start with how to use standby with your iPhone and it's pretty simple. As you can see, I've got my phone right now plugged up to a wireless charger and it's horizontal and that's how you activate the standby feature. Anytime it's vertical like this and locked, you'll see the regular lock screen. However, if you plug it to a charger, so wireless or wired, just like this, and you turn it horizontally like so, it's going to automatically switch into that sort of night mode or nightstand mode. It is called standby, but that's the look you're getting here, almost like a nightstand radio or sort of screen. And the default is this one right here where it gives you that smart sort of widget look where you can go through various widgets here and see what's going on with them. You can totally customize all of them just like you would with widgets or Apple watch faces or even lock screens with iOS. So if we swipe to the left, it's gonna bring up another one here which is just photos. And if you swipe left again, it's now just a single face, sort of like a clock face. Now we can modify these as well so you can swipe up and you can see it goes through the different options that you have. And if you tap and hold on any of these, you'll be able to customize them a little bit, tapping on this little circle. You can change colors, giving them different color coordinations. If you like orange or even a two-tone color like this, you can use that as well. And you can tap on it, and that's the new face you have. You can always swipe between them at any time like this. And if you swipe back right, you can access this one, which is basically the widget look. So if you tap and hold on these widgets, you can remove any widgets you don't want. So let's say you didn't want to see what was new with iOS 17. You tap on that minus and remove it. You could turn the smart rotation off. You can have the widget suggestions on or off, or you can just remove them all and then just have one specific face just like that, or even add some that you like just from like the widgets tab. But now you can use them with the face here. So let's say we wanted to have our batteries listed here. We tap on batteries, we can see the status. So it's gonna give us this look, tap add to the widget. Now we've got that one there. And if we just tap done up here, you'll see we've got that widget there available to us. And we have our clock still as well. So you can modify and play around with all of these. Tapping and holding is the way to customize it. It's very easy, nothing to it. If you wanted the app store there, tap add, and now you've got now trending, which is the iOS 17, and you have what's new with iOS 17 once again. Now there are some settings that we can modify as well. And for this, we're actually going to go back to my original stand here. And if you wanna pick up that stand, there's a link in the description. Everybody always asks me about that specific stand. So for this, we're just gonna open our settings application. And for me, it's just easier to type in standby right here. And it'll pop up with this standby option. And these are all the settings you have access to with standby. Now it says right here, standby will turn on when iPhone is placed on its side while charging to show information like widgets, photo frames, or clocks. So if you were looking to learn how to turn off standby mode on the iPhone, it's right there. You just tap that switch, turn standby off completely, and you go back to normal. If you do like it, you do have some options here. The always on display. When it's enabled, the display will intelligently turn off when it's not in use. Otherwise, you can turn it off completely if you don't want that feature to be available. You have night mode, and when you tap on that, you have two options, night mode and motion to wake. So with night mode on, it's going to present in a red tint with low ambient lighting. And then the motion to wake, standby will turn on the display when motion is detected at night. So if you just kind of wave your hand or something like that, then you'll be able to see that standby clock face that you had. The bottom here is to show notifications. So critical notifications will still be shown in standby if this is switched off. However, if you wanna receive all your notifications, you leave it on. That way your notifications still pass through. Show preview on tap only. So the standby mode can actually hide the preview of a notification and then what you would do is kind of tap on the notification to see the preview. So if you wanna show the preview on tap only, you turn that on, that way it doesn't show you the full preview of the notification on the standby feature. So customize your standby mode like this 
And that is it. That's how you use standby with iOS 17 and the iPhone. Links to this particular wireless stand that I use is in the description as well as this one. And I hope this video helped you. If it did, definitely hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. If you're interested in more iPhone 15 videos, iOS 17 videos, there is much more to come. So like, share, subscribe, click the bell notification box, and I will see you in the next one.